Okay, so today we're changing the brakes on a 2019 Tesla Model S Performance. It's the Raven model and the rotors are warped. Um, the rotors are warped and the brake pads need to be replaced by extension because when the rotors warp, the brake pads get damaged. So knowing how heavy of a car it is, knowing that they are already warped and not wanting them to warp again, it's a 5,000 pound car stopping from very fast speeds, we got drilled and slotted zinc plated uh, rotors. And what's really cool about these rotors is that they're normally like $900 on Amazon. And I was able to get them like new, just with severely damaged packaging for $200. Pop in, we're making a YouTube video. Oh, all right. um, and then we got some carbon fiber uh, ceramic brake pads. And it should just make the car drive and respond to braking a lot better. What do you think, Fabian? You're the brake professional. I don't know. I just get paid to remove stuff and install stuff. Other than that, I don't know anything. I'm charging him $50 an hour, by the way. I'm going to make sure this takes eight hours. It'll go to collections. <laughs> and that's just a Phillips, so I'm not too sure. Pretty sure on like the Model 3s and Xs, I think they're just like Phillips. Like Honestly, yeah, Steven, you have, you're have you putting a lot of faith in us, bro. <laughs> um, so, uh, in case you, you know and Hunter knows, but the viewer, maybe the viewer doesn't know, uh, Teslas have to have hockey pucks, which go into these little holes on the bottom of the car. So you like, it's got like a a piece mm -hmm. and then a puck and it clips in. And then you have to do the jack stand onto that. Show them just on be that. advised, don't just jack up. Just show them on the next wheel we do. You'll pierce your battery and set your house on fire. Um, you know, we never had this problem on a 1988 Chevy. You know, I don't have that problem on a Chevy Cobalt. Yeah, these dang kids and their fangled batteries give me a goddamn carburetor. So there's the hockey puck. I have four of them. I got them on Amazon for like 20 bucks and I just keep them in my hood. I just want a mallet, bro. I need a mallet. Those are on there tight. Whoever, this I don't know the, what the Tesla tech was. This is a jack we're using. Uh, check on top of the toolbox right there. I don't know if it's a rubber mallet, but. I'm very flattered you trust me with this kind of stuff. Because I wouldn't trust her. Say, say, that, say that again. I would have yeah, those are confidence inspiring sounds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, Stephen, when we're done with the brakes, uh, you are going to have to. So, when we're done with the brakes, we're going to do a bed in process. Oh, I know. But carry on. No, no, no. Talk about it for the camera. Oh, well, I mean, it's different for every car, but normally you want to start from like. Okay. I know there's going to be a lot of comment section mechanics huh? and type what you want. I don't care. I'm going to ignore you because you're not relevant in this situation. But, you know, normally what I do, you know, is you speed up to like 30, then stop to like five a couple times, start, you know, start breaking down the, the, the coat on the rotor and then go up to like 55, 60. For safety purposes, this has to be on an open road with no traffic because I know you YouTube warriors are going to tell me that, okay? All you, you know, just blur this out. All you assholes, bro. I know. I know. So don't tell me. All right. I'll fight any of you guys. Okay. No, I'm just tired of the YouTube mechanics, bro. Breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. I'm just tired of the YouTube mechanics, man. I'm telling you, bro. They watch a Facebook video once and they think they know it all. Right? Anyway, we're going to go mess it up. Not to the wheels. <clears throat> so Fabian had to push on the brake to make it really easy oh, way, to Steven, pull the wheel off. Um, when we when you finish your brakes, we're gonna put some of this. We're yeah, you gotta put a finish we're gonna, on we're your rotors. We're gonna polish your rotors so they look nice and shiny. Oh, great! And also performance. Yeah. I wouldn't know any better. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I'll be your first comment. We got Hunter trying to figure out how to get the lug nut caps off. I lug didn't, nut I didn't caps bring off. Bring me my picks. I'm a G, dude. <laughs> now you just have to do that. Five, Twenty more times. Twenty more times. 19. Yeah, Nineteen more times. Yeah. <laughs> Rip. Something else I forgot to mention is a uh, 2019 Model S Performance Raven model. It is very specifically the Brembo uh, brake edition. So it's four piston calipers. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just read online that stuff that I'm missing. Oh, um, so don't say I was sitting here, I was standing here looking at Fabian and thinking how if that jack failed, that's basically a guillotine on his legs and Fabian would no longer walk. So 
they had the bright idea after I brought it up. Let's put the jack stand. They had the bright idea, but it was actually like, my idea. What is the jack stand on? on? Yes, it's in jack mode. It's what? 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 What is the jack stand on? The control arm. Uh, like where the control arm bushing is to the frame. So not directly on the control arm, but where the frame is also holding the weight. I wouldn't and be surprised if this was crossed. I'm taking the guess that we're not sure it wouldn't damage the car if it fell, but Fabian shouldn't lose his legs, right? No, it wouldn't damage the car. It's a pretty heavy duty weight bearing. Okay, cool. Just making sure. I appreciate the uh, extra caution. <clears throat> But Someone's been here before, by the way. Oh, really? Because these these nuts are not new. Someone's been in here before, buddy. So, what size are you using on that? Okay, so for any future viewers, it's an 18 millimeter for the bolts, right? For the caliper bracket bolts. Um, and because I'm a little sped, I don't I don't know which way it goes, so it's gonna be a little trial and error. I'm not gonna break it because I'm not using an impact, but it's an 18. Okay, so we just took the rotor off. So just for reference, if you're ever replacing the rotors on the 2019 Model S P100D, because this type of stuff matters, I'm not sure if it's, you know, for the whole lineup or not, this is a T45 retaining screw for the rotor. That's what you'll need to use to get this off. If it doesn't have it, sweet, you just saved yourself five minutes and maybe a headache. But if it's still on there, it's a T45. The future will thank me. So, Steven, are the rotors directional? I don't know what that means. Nah, no, we don't need any of that. No, we don't need any of that. It's not, it's a Tesla, they don't rust. I don't, literally has I don't, rust. I don't, think, I don't think we have NTCs. Okay. Oops. Ah. Okay. Nope, stay nope. it out now. Because the spring is, gives it tension. Who would have thunk it? No, it's because this thing's too thick and like, it don't go in no more. Get a smaller uh, punch. Um, this is just for initial contact. As you say, like, you do want to put some kind of torque on it because I've had this back out on mine and like the brake was making a really bad riding sound. Mm. It's not as bad as when I forgot my uh, to torque this, the bolts on mine and on the highway. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, like, yeah. that's, that's like 40 foot pounds, bro. Yeah, it's no, it's, it's pretty tight. You weren't right there for that, but we were going down to sure. Aeroworks. Yeah. And coming down the cajon, my bottom mounting bolt for one of my calipers came off on the highway, and my caliper flipped backwards and locked up my wheels. Oh, That's a hell of an experience. So I had Steven run and grab something for me on the side of the highway. It goes with my half drive. Oh, I have to try it. Yeah, I was like, dude, this is sound. And then we got off like one of those overpasses where like it went another highway. Oh, my truck has a. So I pulled over. It has a three inch reducer. So if you need to. Yeah, I kind of came up on a little hill and I was like, I should move it. And I just started going. You weren't going to run specs or whatever. Yeah, so the shims that sit in the middle of the pins. We need to tap those ones out. They came with the fruit that they break out specifically. Okay. I think it's in the back. Yeah, they came up with the pins. They're not. Honestly, well, do you think they're going to. Rust like normal rotors? No. No, they didn't be here. I mean, maybe the. So, so I assume they won't get seized. Yeah, well, this surface will never rust because you always use it. Yeah. yeah. Well, but I mean, the, the coating part. The coating, be. yeah, the coating is supposed to intend, like. Well, the on coating is supposed to. Honestly, rust, like, after it, it's something that a mallet years. can't fix. <laughs> Yeah, it's something in Malik. You could always WD 40 it, make it look like new, but you probably have some surface rust that's on there ready to be replaced. Or it should be the wrong size. Don't say that. Because I ain't doing this again, bro. Is it funny how the rears are like the multi lug Yeah, that's what I was looking for. They're, the, they're like the two different bolt patterns for the yeah, rears. Weird. That one's one single, yeah. yeah I, I think it's weird that, you it's know, they're just rotors. Yeah, well, that's the rear, so it's like 
because I guess different cars use the same size, or it's like you, you know using wheels that have two different bolt patterns. Yeah, I never seen any rotors like that. Yeah, they're small and big, and they're they actually. I know, I know. Like Don't cross thread the bolt, yeah, my two warriors. Just, just yeah. rotate it if it's a different yeah. bolt pattern. This set is actually yeah. compar compatible with like Corvette. See, I'm threading uh, it in slowly. The impact. What, can so you explain the problem right now? But you just turn the wheel all the way to the right, and you have right <sighs> God damn, look fucking torque you have here. Yeah, there it is. Jesus Christ. Here, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Let me turn the wheel for you. Do I have to turn the car while the car's on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you put your foot on the brake and. Oh, yeah, no, it works. That's good. Cool, you can turn it while it's off. I don't think the battery was well, going on. I don't on. think it's going to work because if that. If that has more torque than the, uh, <clears throat> than the lugs, it's not going to go because I, I couldn't even break the lugs with the. Um, it's because it's not a Milwaukee. It's because it's not a red. Oh, well, this isn't even the right size. I need I need an 18. This Y'all gave me a 21. That is the one I was on there. Jeez. He has uh, his tools on it. Quarter inch? Yeah. <clears throat> I say oh, you need an impact socket, but that shit makes no torque anyways. Can you explain the problem, Hunter? Uh, basically, uh, so there's a bolt. There's a bolt that you tighten. This is Chinese. Um, that, that's Chinese, but um, that bolt, a little too tight. Uh, so when you use Chinesium impact gun on 18, bolt that's yeah. too tight. 18 deep socket. It don't go. Six point if possible. Deep Please. I don't think I'm asking for too much here. Uh, check the left side. Because I think those are uh, <coughs> half inch. Right, right. Uh, like bottom left. Uh, like all the short sockets. This car could literally kill me. No. Like, literally. Yeah, that's why I wanted the safety. Yeah, deep I said, okay, YouTube comment warriors, we're gonna put in. You know what I like to do? I like to spray the whole thing down with with like um, WD forty. Makes them look real everything. shiny. Everything, yeah. yeah. The rotors, the brake pads, everything. It makes them work so much better. You need to put Troy's comments in like big bold letters. No squeak. <laughs> He's going to be the thumbnail. Just put some WD-40 on it. That'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> you need to check the, the box. The box should say left or right. Well, we took them out of all the boxes. We should have gone back in the original. That, that bottom one is uh, the one I said, bro. Because remember, these aren't, these aren't just blank rotors. Yeah, no, these ones don't say anything. They say disc. No, but they say one Actually, one I think it's I think it's pretty easy to look up. I think I remember seeing it on the website. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. tells you what the directional things mean. Something about the, the lines have to go in a certain direction. Yeah, that one just type. says R, and that one says one R. I think oh. it's I think this is the right one. So, so the, this one, oh, well, you know what? If you, as long as you don't die, bro, it's all good. Either. I'll check on Amazon. That one's one R right there. That's one R, and then that's just the R. Well, you hit the brakes, and you can spin around in a circle. Yeah, like there's one. It means you got the right on the right. And the yeah, so that, that so you see, it says one R. I'll let you guys that figure it out. One R. I'm sorry for the part. This one. Just R. <laughs> uh, this one. It says <laughs> rookies. L. Am I right? So you need to check. Is it L or what? Like, so there's just the letter, and then there's like. One L, so you have L and a one L. I'm trying to check right now. Well, it, first off, it was all one Amazon package, but yeah, see, eight hundred bucks. I got them for two hundred. That looks like just by the rotation, right? The wheel's gonna go this way. Yeah. So you gotta go the other way. Yeah. So hand me the other one, Hunter. Don't drop it. Can you imagine? Drops the new rotor. Well, oh, because this oh. one also looks. That one's also that's a rear one. one. Yeah. Does it look at the bolt pattern? Yeah. That's, oh, oh, no, that's all good, bro. R, R would be right that's side. So we'll it put it on be, like this. R would be passenger. Yeah, so. yeah, just put it like that. That's cool. <laughs> uh, a little bolt. That right out a little bit. But no, big no big deal. No big deal. You don't need spacers so anymore. You'll have the right offset. We're gonna take off your dust shield. You don't need that either. Um. I can't really find the information on the listing as far as what direction they're supposed to go. Do you guys have brake cleaner? Uh, there's parts cleaner. Uh, oh yeah, I need a rag. Can you see that electronic cleaner? We're going to have to replace some stuff and I'm like, you got to be freaking kidding me. It's moving. Precision, baby. More passion. More you want like a little, you want pliers? You got it. Oh, there you go. I think I can man handle it. I don't know. I mean, you're wiggling. It should come loose now. Yeah, it's because it's freaking coated in brake dust. We had like some brake cleaner. Well, we have brake cleaner, but I don't want to use all of it. We still got three more rotors. We got a freaking. I'll show you my belt to punch the other ones out with the, the old. 
Yeah, yeah you're right, actually. And then once that one comes yeah, out. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, they're too thin. The, the, yeah, thin. like the tip right, of like the thin, pin. And then it goes. Yeah, oh, okay. it's thin, then yeah, big. Uh, you know what it is? Also, the drill's probably putting pressure on the brake pads, which is. Because uh, they go through the brake pads. Do you want to try to put it on a jack stand That's so it's big. a little bit thinner? It's all good, bro. No, it, it's not that deep. No, that's pretty deep. Let's get this out of here. Hell yeah, dude. Honestly. You see how it uh, works now, too? Yeah. Pretty simple system. Right, they should put me in the top. So the other cars don't have me. those pins? It's like certain cars. It, it depends. But I think it's like, Most, I don't know if it's Brembo specific. Most cars you have to take the complete caliper off. And like my poor person car, poor I have to I have to take the calipers on. Um, did you uh did do the new? It could be like me where do the new brake pads come with um pins? Yes. No, not pins. The shield for the back. I don't know. Uh, shield. These, uh, yeah, these, these, these pistons are pretty complex, so I don't see why. I guess. So to clarify, those pins can get yeah. worn, and yeah. Tesla recommends that you do them every time you do a service on the car. Well, I'm not going to put them on here. I want to put the caliper back on here. The brake pads came with replacement Hunter, pins, those two pins, in addition to something about the back the of the brake pads. The mounting? Uh, I didn't touch them. Because there was one thing I want to torque this to 120 foot pounds. Yeah, tank. Rotor to screw. <laughs> As it snaps Oh, 17 uh, newton meters? Yeah. So it has the 120. <laughs> Yeah, 120 foot pounds of torque. That's foot pounds. How many Newton meters? Uh, 17 for that set two. So basically, almost maxing out. Because I don't. No. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. There's. The Newton meters right here. Yeah, 120 for caliper and knuckle bolts, 17 for rotary hub screw, 42 to for brake hose to caliper. I was going to say, it's Eight way. That's like nothing. To knuckle. <laughs> Who's torquing their brake dust shit? <laughs> I'm not so worried it's going to fly off when I'm racing, bro. <laughs> I put my stuff into it because we. Didn't so, what did we miss? Anything? All right, uh, we just backed it, the retaining screw out a little bit because they right, both Michael, cranked on it. Uh, so, we could get the proper torque torque into 17 Newton meters. Uh, I, think that, I think that'll be fun. Pretty easy. I don't want to go overboard because if I hear tink, I'm going to cry. Yeah, I was gonna say that's some. Um... That's uh, that's more than enough. Yeah, because yeah, that's a that's a clean. very that's that's more than enough. There's a half inch torque if you need it. Thank you. Well, we need that or a, a three eighths torque, I should say. But, yeah, I've never seen one that small. <laughs> Look, man, I know, but. What, the I, that, that won't turn anymore, bro. No, I don't, I'm not no. messing with that. Yeah, a, <laughs> if it ain't turning, bro, I ain't engine, touching it. Use the three eighths adapter on it. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the caliper back on, bolt it up, yeah, and yeah. then just do do the brake pads while it's yeah, no, yeah, it's I don't easy want to do it. Right, like how Tesla actually has it set up is really easy. Yeah. Well, I mean, could take the. Is it, is that just all Brembo's in general? Do they have pins like that? Or? Uh, usually. Yeah. I mean, I should know because you know I'm part of Brembo's now. I don't know, is this going to work or am I going to have to do it? Am I going to have to leave? Oh, they, you oh, probably yeah. have to compress them because yeah, they're yeah, his. Or try to pull the pads out. Yeah, I'm going to try to do it. Oh, I have the I have the compression thing. Uh, right, the, it's in that Amazon so bag behind the, the wheel. Oh, so did you buy one? It was like five bucks. Was, no, it was ten bucks. It was ten bucks on Amazon. Well, it was 45 from autos when you get your money back. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I can also just... <laughs> <laughs> You guys have like a little, uh, so it's still net zero. <laughs> little <laughs> hammer. And I want to see what it is, and then, you know, maybe I'll just make it part of my. Uh, go against what Collector Carfeet says, and. Uh... I just bought the one that you guys sent the Amazon link to. Yeah, that was nice. This Wii stuff, bro. Come on. All right, uh, do you guys have a punch and a hammer? No. And a mallet? I just doesn't need a punch in. A punch? Yeah, to punch out the little retaining pin. Uh, a little screwdriver should work. Yeah, those things. Yeah, you don't care about. Where you go? Oh, it comes with gloves, dude. Them. I have gloves now. Let's like, go. Like, <laughs> all my tools. I got my so Chinese gloves. I'm assuming we're gonna reuse this bracket, because huh? these are like yeah. look at these. Oh, you comes in a little sandwich bag. <laughs> you need instructions? How big of a punch <laughs> are we looking <laughs> for? Uh, it's, not that big. Oh, you need a small oh, dude. Well, no, it's one set. That'll work. Do you want to see one? Do you want to share with me? <laughs> no, 
Oh, he's gonna be so comfortable, dude. Let's go. I got DMT, bro. Let's see how easy it's gonna come out. What if you take DMT while wearing DMT? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would go so hard. Oh, is it D or O? Oh, is it O? Yeah, Orion. Orion. <laughs> DMT. Yeah, dude. Using OMT while on DMT. Why is that kind of funny? What? Bring it on top of the drill. Gotta work with what you got, bro. Make That's actually sure. a brick tool, the one you have. That's for laying brick. This? Or yes. Like tapping it into the... It's full of sand. So oh. when you're laying brick, you use this. Oh. I'm Mexican, bro. I only know about lawns. I don't know about yeah, lawns. <laughs> yeah. That's Puerto Rican, isn't it? Um, oh, okay. I was gonna say they're, they're one way. Yeah, yeah, <coughs> one way, but it's like kind of. Show me this pin thing. Oh, I see it. It's top. about. Oh, yeah, the, it's it's about like. Right there. You know it's about it, yay big. Is that right. thing at the top right there? Yes. Yeah. The, these two. The ones. I mean, yeah, I you got to be pretty dumb like to not know which ones they are. And I'm talking to you, viewers. Uh, do we have it? I guess I can also grab this. Push the, the spring down. You can slide. Oh. Here, I'll push it down and slice. Here. Had to make sure everything was, you know, up to spec. And... You're supervising? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You did a good job. Paid $80 uh, or 80000 a year. Look over his shoulder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he works at a dealership and has us put wipers on to make customers happy. Sao Zheng Hai Shang Guo, Sun Shire, Bing Shiling. We're eight cars down and he makes mm -hmm. us put wipers on. Okay. Um, Damn, Fabian, your camera's way nicer. Is that the 15? I wish. Oh. That's a 14. There's a lot less noise. Uh, yeah, so what's this here. about the back of the caliper, or the back of the brake pads? Hmm. Something about in the case it comes with the brake pads and then protectors or back plates for the brake pads? Is that what that is? Yeah. You talking about the, the surface? You just put a little bit of any seeds or whatever seeds. Brake lubricant. This will help it uh, stay cool. It basically acts like thermal paste on the back of the pad. To oh, the cool. And uh, prevents using. And yeah, off. I've never used it and never will. It's snake oil. Helps helps them come out easier when you go to replace them and reduces noise. What are the torque specs for the? Uh, I heard noise reduction. Let's do it. <laughs> One twenty. One twenty foot pounds. Newton meters. For the caliber bolt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah One hundred twenty newton meters. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't speak <laughs> British, the, bro. I need pounds. You have the torch specs. I'm speaking freedom. Oh, yeah, I speak in freedom, bro. Not friggin'. Which, what, like, what's weird is going from like, calipers. But I'll like, use like, it when this when this graphics. runs out of storage. So Thank you. Well, you're gonna run my shit out of storage. Fifty two minutes on there. Maybe. <laughs> Where's the torque wrench? Oh, you got it. Hey, King, I'm gonna need that torque wrench. Wait, so, wait, 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 wait. This Explain one. this again. Well, you just confused because, uh, like, you know, a lot of older cars or I don't know if it's like even new cars do it. Like, you'll have your caliper mounting bracket and your caliper. So if you weren't changing your rotor, you could just unbolt the caliper from the mounting bracket and just kind of flip it and be able to put the pads on. But uh, obviously right. with the Tesla, because the caliper bolts to the knuckle okay. instead of having a mounting bracket. Well, uh, here's the thing. The design. I mean, to, to replace normal brake pads, you have to rotate, you have to... You have to take the caliper off, rotate it up, replace all the hardware in the pads, and then put it back on there and bolt it back. Yeah, so okay. this one you just tap the pins out. And then this one, the pins come out the top, the print, so you yeah, don't have to take the caliper off. You don't have to take the rotor off wow. the caliper, yeah. Well, the rotor, yeah, yeah the rotor's I understand on, yeah. that, yeah, but yeah, you don't you have don't to take the caliper off. Yeah, you don't take the caliper yeah. off. Yeah, wow, it's, that's amazing. So they load from the top. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a performance so oriented make that design. So make that a key point. It makes it, uh, it's designed to be able to like swap them out quickly. Just the pull them out and yeah. drop them in. Yeah. Wow, okay. It's track oriented. So, so if you're not replacing the rotors, yes. leave the calipers in place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, yeah. Pull the pins, pull the pads out, put the new pads in. Mm -hmm. How do you compress the, the cylinders? Though? That's what I'm going to do. I thought they were compressed, but I guess I'm going to have to go back yeah, and see, take them Yeah, see, that's what I'm curious about. How do you compress the cylinders? 
Oh wait, so we're taking them off. Yeah, I'm taking it off again because well, I thought they were do impressed. You, but... Do you want me to run a government <laughs> mission? I love how he came to the conclusion as Fabian uh, was I, making I, I the discovery. Just, just sitting there, I was like, wait, why, why is he? Do you want me to go government mission? <laughs> that was pretty that? funny. No, it's not going to fit, trust me. I don't even think okay, it's going to so work you... for Yeah, I'll run There is I'll a nuance. Yeah, I'll be back. Yeah, we'll be in back. in I'll theory, be you should be able to pull the pins, pull that, pull that, um... But do we have a compression tool now? My bad, King. Are we going to use the pads to compress it? No, never mind. My we have we have a tool for it for compression, right? That's what that's for. That's not going to The C clamp. That's oh, that. Yeah, bro. That lines up. That's perfect. <laughs> it doesn't go in all the way. It needs to line up with the holes. Yeah. And then, uh, so now that that side is in, you can. Stick your finger in there. Don't forget to do the, the silicon thing that you're talking Bro, about. Chill out. I know, I'm just test fitting them. Jesus oh, okay. Christ. <laughs> no. Yeah, what I want to know is if these ears are... As soon as you take out the old one, you put the new one back in. Really? There's no one need to... So, they fully retract. I guess so. Well, because, yeah, they're not under pressure. Constantly. When, not, when it's off, you're not using them. Tesla's. Because normal cars are. I mean, that the, well, no, because the cylinders come out and they stay out. When it's stopped and you're not pushing the brake, the brake pads aren't touching the rotor. They were like the. However, so. you still have to compress the, the cylinders in order to get the new pads in because mm, the new pads are. That's not my experience. I mean, if you wear them all the way down. Right, I guess it's just with this design, the pistons actually retract with the, the pressure from the that's, fluid. Well, that's bizarre. I mean, I, I did stick my it. finger in there and push the piston on a little bit, but it's not anything. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Well, we'll yeah, just I guess we'll know in a second here, huh? Are you able to get that other that other pad in, Fabian? Before you do that? Yeah, because they're they're compressed now. So, okay. pad. I mean, it's the same so do we even need the ten dollar tool? I don't know. Either. I think it doesn't the sound like it. I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, well, you want to do one side. So you're saying time, that once, once this uh, side is in, because uh, if you the, push this side in, you the pistons, push these out. So which you normally have to push back into place, so you can get the new brake pad in. Auto retract or just sit back. They don't sit pressurized. I, apparently, yeah, there's just no pressure in the lines or in the caliper from your booster or master. That uh, you can just I push them back. Either you get these a pad in there and pull it back. These are electric. They're electric. I'm just kidding, dude. Electric Do you think brakes? that's why? Because it's an electric car, something about no, like how Regen does most of the braking. Just the, the combo of the master and the booster, and I mean, it's just like a design. Probably quite a bit more. It's hydraulic line right there. there. So they're hydraulic. I mean, it's literally thermal paste. That's crazy. Yeah, your car has a CPU, bro. Yeah, you just nice. use some thermal grizzly on it, bro. <laughs> Don't tempt okay. Steven, bro. He'll he'll look it up, bro. He'll ask Chad GPT <laughs> if he can use thermal grizzly on brake pads. He's like, can I put the thermal nice. pads on? That's yeah. great. Yeah. Push those uh, Octonaut pads or whatever they are. Yeah. Octonaut. I don't, I don't think they're. Uh, no, I, thought you, I thought you were making on. a joke on the Conducto Knot. Conducto Knot, is that what it is? The, I can't remember the brand. Thermal the, uh, what is it called? The liquid metal? No, do you remember those pads you'd actually put in instead of using thermal paste? Oh, thermal pads, yeah. Oh, the actual little sticky. <laughs> Not like the thermal pads you use for graphics card to like kind of bridge it between. Oh, you're talking about like the graphene Michaels? Pads? Yeah. Oh. But the ones that you'd put for your CPU instead of using thermal paste? Yeah, I've seen those. I know they fell off. I remember they're trending for a while, and I guess yeah. just, they're outdated now. They weren't as efficient as, uh, as promised. I guess the whole thing was, oh, you don't really need to change it. Yeah, well, and after a while of use, like, it's, they start, it would get uh, brittle. Uh -oh. And so when you take the cooler off, it would just, like, crack oh, it Because yeah, it hard after Oh, good. <laughs> Did me a concern. All in the days of dishonest work. <laughs> uh, I was reading the reviews, and somebody mentioned the ears on the pads. And, I mean, it doesn't have any effect on it. functionality. It's Do just you have more paste or uh, more of the cryonaut, bro? <laughs> Is that the only packet of thermal paste? No, no there's, there's another one. Honestly, I, I thought it was going to be more full. Well, is there, I think there's only one per uh, axle. That's it's, fine. It's just that oh, good, bro. Yeah. Wait, one per axle? Yes. Uh oh. So if you're out of it, then you need more. Well, usually, you don't need like a crazy amount. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe we'll have to do a, a run for the... If we have to do three more of these, and we're having this many problems with the first one, I think we should go get that tool that would help us a lot. I think No, the impact. He has an impact tool. Oh, yeah. I mean, I would love to get the impact. But what I mean is we're not having any problems. I'm just figuring out how to do it. The other side's going to be easy. The pain in the ass is going to be the rear because you have electric... Michael, was there only one packet of... Oh, because it is the parking brake, too? Yeah, the electric parking brake. The emergency parking brake. That's going to be the pain in the butt, but... Yeah. It's one pack for... You just want to just go run to, like, all those ones and grab their cheap. No, there's, there should be enough. Okay, okay Michael, okay, squeeze it out. out. So, since you've done this You really before, think there'll be enough so... for two more pads? Yeah. Well... Where? Yeah, you only need a thin layer. It's not going to be Where, Michael? Just, look, <laughs> it's the same size packet. Uh, but these pads are much smaller. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so you don't need any... So, oh. Yeah, so we'll be good. Uh, Michael, so you've done this before. So when you you can put in, I'm assuming, one pin and then the, the little... I still uh, racket and then the checks. other pin, right? Because it's <coughs> yeah, 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 some too. I'm sorry. Oh, he has so some. Troy has some. The way this goes is you Bosh. put in one pin and Let's then go. the bracket under it, and then you and then you put in the, the other yeah, pin. Yeah, that that's the easiest. Um, okay. These. I've done this before. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. This, yeah. <laughs> okay, where's, where's the new pins? Well, the... the... Oh. What's the deal with the thermal pad thing? Is that, is that well, what card do you have that does the thermal, yeah, the thermal the, yeah, paste? Yeah. What? Okay. Oh, really? Every, yes. Oh, I didn't know that all of them needed it. It's for vibration. Oh. It's kind of like vibration yeah. and friction and it's kind of... Because there's no pins in the front bag. Uh-huh. But it's only, it's two pins I wonder pack, if right? I wonder yeah. if these rotors are going to make the car go when you slow down like it did the cross tour. It's probably going to go. I wonder if it just makes your car sound like a V8. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that, yeah, no, when I was, when I had the cross door, once we put in the drilled and slotted rotors, every time you'd break, it'd go, yeah, until you break there's going to be some noise. No, that was for 50,000 miles. <laughs> 30, 30 40,000 miles, it was like that. There's definitely going to be some noise. I mean, then that's a, do you have I mean, something was wrong, I don't know. Uh, Yours doesn't uh, make that noise, though. No. Okay, no. I'll bring some then. Yeah. Like, what is like a 15 and a 21? The shape of the drill or the slot really shouldn't matter either. There, so, so. Don't know what we're gonna yeah. unless the maybe the maybe it does. Maybe that's why it's rounded. Do we need any other tools besides? Unless you put the rotors on backwards. Just your good attitude, man. That's it. Maybe we put the rotors yeah, on backwards. Because <laughs> if you think about it, the pad, like the line starts here and it like gradually goes over it. But if you okay. uh, move it, have it the other way. Thank you very way, much for grabbing that tool. The line goes over the pad much faster and probably makes more noise. Be safe. Yeah. Where's it going? This is going to be an impact tool. Oh, oh look here. Look, look here, y'all. Is that Robert? It's Ashley. Special guest. Is that Robert? No, it's Ashley. Thank God, we need a mechanic. Do you have an impact tool? God damn it, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> She's certified. Yeah, you're right. The hell out I of don't, there. but I have certification. They picked me up right. from, they get picked, out of there. They picked me up from Home Depot, Ashley. I don't know what I'm doing. Is if you stop on those brakes while they're hot, they warp the rotors out. Yeah. And I'm sure that's what happens. Somebody bought this thing around and just hammered it. They hammer it in them. Do I want to do I want to lift it with you? No. Yeah, I guess it's not going to hit because there's no. Uh... Oh, Scratching the wheels. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it clears. Okay. I'd hope it's clear, but the 19 inch or how big are those? 20 yeah. inches. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you're gonna have to keep that in mind when you get smaller wheels, bro. The little ears that robs you like an inch, bro. <laughs> Literally robs you an inch. That's so, interesting. I didn't clearance. know that. And that's just because of the type of brake pads. Well, it's just because of the the design. I mean, I guess next time once you change them again, just get OEM ones or something. But is that the brake pads? Yeah, yeah that's a brake pad. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have an effect on anything, as far as you can tell. It's just yeah. aesthetic. You will literally never have to change those. Not with the with these synergies. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, especially with your ownership history. You so. never <laughs> in two years, well, this thing will, will be gone and traded like, in for yeah. something else. The, the motors are. the truck or something. Okay, so let me give you some perspective. Yeah. That Ionic out there, mm -hmm. 120,000 miles on it. It's 2017. Yeah. You've never changed the brake pads? You've never changed the pads. Well, because of the reach. I have them right there on the shelf. Um, I bought them in anticipation. Uh, Every time I look at them, I'm like, yeah. Steven's there's nothing going on. You're a rock auto type of guy, huh? 
<laughs> I respect that. I respect that. I'm, I'm wherever I can find them. Hell yeah, dude. Rock Auto, it takes a special type of patience to browse their website, bro. And, <laughs> I don't think so. And I mean, actually I find parts, bro. Man. <laughs> I don't like Take it. the year, make and model, like, and yeah. it gives you a list of options. Uh, they you either do it or you don't. I don't know where the software yeah, Oh, I didn't sounds. put it into the jack mode. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it I have to put it into the jack mode. <laughs> okay, so we are doing the second front wheel now. The uh, passenger side. Where's the twenty-one? Front. Hunter was able to get an impact tool, which should make life a million times easier and more productive. Pro tip: Don't ever use chrome sockets for this stuff. <laughs> but <clears throat> the chromies don't play around. Well. <laughs> Just use three paint black and it works. I've seen these blow up in people's faces, bro. I don't know if I'll film the whole process for this for this wheel. Unless something interesting happens. Hey, the Ryobi put it. Hey. Put the craftsman to shame. I think my DeWalt would have done this in half the time. <laughs> How much you spend on your DeWalt, bro? <laughs> don't worry about that, bro. You I don't think I'll film everything about this wheel, no, I'm just trying but to I will it. film the pins bucks? going in since I didn't get that on the last I'm wheel. I'm just trying to see what the Milwaukee guys are going to say yeah, in the comments. The, the <laughs> yeah, no, they, I've, been, I've been trying to, that that trying to six, switch over to all the same stuff. That so. one breaks up the 600 foot pounds. Uh, what, you got a switch on it or something? Uh, yes. Yeah, it has one, two, or three. Right on. Some of the tools are sold without batteries and chargers. Can, so I bought it. Can you guys pass me the ratchet I was using with the with the well, quarter they inch? Had a, they had a deal going on the yeah, other it's, day. It's gonna shear a broke It was pretty it's cool. Quarter inch. <laughs> Never tool, mind. Got a tool free. I was just being targeted. Like, hmm. they also, Sorry like, guys. There's some kits that Ryobi has where it's like a drill and an impact and yeah, you know, save yeah. a good starter kit. It has a battery and a charger. I, I cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate you enjoying this labor. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I just said I was going to go help you. I didn't say I was going to enjoy it. I think the friendship obligation. Yeah, man. You think, I, I would love to be playing Call of Duty right now. But no, instead of working on a Tesla. Yeah, and then, like, I was just... But hey, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, right? So this time you just put the whole impact drill back there in order to yeah, get that loose. I am just threading these back on because I actually want to tap these out while it's still on here because if not, I'm, I don't want to. Yeah, I get in a lot of trouble with that. <laughs> not, but not from anybody else, just with my own. You could do the pads last. But it's you, you want to do first. No, yeah, I just want to. I just want to tap them out right now that they're on. Yeah, wouldn't it do? Wouldn't it be? Oh, never mind. It would just be a lot easier to tap them out. Right? Hey, Hunter, can you pass <laughs> I, me the phone? I remember. Screwdriver. <laughs> Okay, so they just took out the old pins and put in the new pads, and now they're putting in the new pins. Can you show me the hardware? Oh, my bad, boy. You said show me the hardware. Yeah, show, show me, me your hardware. I'm sorry, I don't got my rolly on me right now. He's good on the other side. <laughs> huh? Go on the other side, Stephen. <laughs> you saw that? <laughs> this motherfucker's trying to, like, dodge me. I'm not trying to dodge you. I'm just trying to see. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Every time, <laughs> Fabian, every time I freaking moved left, you moved your head in front of the camera. You did it, like, I'm four sorry, times. Pimps, forgive me for trying to see. That was so funny. <laughs> so we're going to go eat after this. Potentially. I'm pretty Watch sure. This. I don't know, Jared was talking about punches earlier, and I said, bro, I'm sure to go He went to punches yesterday, but he'll probably still be down. Let's just see when we're done with the brake job, because we still have the rear to do, and that's a whole other ballpark. Bro. Uh, so I know, it'll guide itself in. I'm just trying to help out right now. <laughs> oh. okay. mm. yeah, this one seems like yeah it's moving it it's moving little. just need to tap it a little harder because that plastic uh bushing it seals it
Your calipers might not be red after the install, but you'll have to yeah. <laughs> oh, little paint chips coming off. Yeah. Yeah, it's normal. It's Steven when plastic caliper covers exist. <laughs> Remember, when you, remember they, when you wanted to put fake Brembo calipers he, he, he on the freaking RAV? I gave them to the guy, yeah. Oh, my poor guy. Anyway, where's yeah, the... They weren't Brembo, they were Toyota. Toyota. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Steve. I'm just, I'm just really against... Actually, they stuff. they were actually totally fine. They sit on a non-part hot, uh, hot uh, part of the metal. Good, I'll just they, just, they just cover it to protect so you from... Like, find every excuse to validate him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's... <laughs> Maker fit. You hear the neighbor yelling apparently. What? Yeah, because I. Well, he, he kind of did a burnout, bro. Okay, now we have a whole new dilemma. We're doing the rear, but there is a parking slash emergency brake with a pad. Tight. Yeah, don't take that shit. So that's both there. There should be a service mode. Yeah, there has to be a service mode. Here, can you stop recording for a minute with my phone so I can look it up? You can check the test Yeah. Let me film it a little bit. Basically, thing no come off if no no service mode. Hold it myself, bro. You're good, bro. Three eight three hundred. I need to see if he's using the right number. So, 15. what size for the 15. 15. for the emergency brake or the parking brake? We're working on that. Oh, okay. Um, um and then was there anything the rear, different from the from the, the back brake? So for the rear caliper, it's still an eighteen. Um, obviously, use six points if you can because this stuff will this thing will like strip a, a bolt a six point bolt if you're trying to use a twelve point twelve point socket. Um, Hey Alexa, pause. So basically, for the rear calipers, it's the same 18 millimeter. If you have a six point, you try to use that instead of a 12, because this stuff can strip, can strip the bolt sometimes, and it's not optimal. Um, and then for the rear, for this one, I believe it's a 15 millimeter. So we're gonna test that right now. Uh, 14. No, I think it was a. You already gonna try this. Oh no, I think it was a 16. My bad. Uh, that one's still 15. To 15. Maybe it's just a second. Yeah, it looks like a 16. Yeah, so it is. So for the emergency brake, it is a 16 millimeter uh, socket. For that. Uh, if you do want to have this twirl around, you have to make sure you put your car in tow mode. Yeah. Because if that's... not, then this will be locked up and it'll be a pain in the butt to get to. So, yep, 16. Tow mode is in the service settings. And it looks like this. You have to put your foot on the brake and then you enable it pressing that button right there. Yeah, and the other thing is, um, so we're using this as a stop on this wheel since it's got all the weight on it. And then we're using a, a stick of wood on the other wheel. Um, and again, we're being pretty safe to make sure that we have the additional jack stand back there. And then, the, of course, the jack. And don't forget your hockey puck. Oh, yeah. No, I think someone's been here before because look how, like, they're not new, bro. They're, like, worn down. Well, you think she got e brake pads? There's, like, signs of other tools. Yeah, because usually when they're new, they're, like, mint, bro. These are not mint. Well, I guess they did replace Well, I mean, it's not hard to take that off if you just take the wheel off. Oh, yeah, they did replace the motors. You probably have to get the axles off and motor controller or whatever. But whoever put these back on, Jesus Christ, bro, they, like, they... We're messing around. They were just, like, how much torque do you want? Yes. They just freaking put it on there, like, you know, it's okay. They did not want this car to come back. No, they did not. <laughs> and to be fair, bro, I wouldn't either. Yeah. After it's been there, like, what, three times? Yeah. Four, three times. Times. yeah. You guys want to rob this Amazon day? <laughs> So we're not going to be showing you how to replace the brake pads back here because we're not doing that. If you were going to do it, you'd push out these pins here so the pad could come off. But it's just two, fifth, uh, two 16 millimeter bolts back here. And uh, yeah, then it'll come right off. All right, everybody. So finally finished the Tesla. Um, pretty much to sum it up, for the front for the front calipers you're going to need an 18 millimeter six point socket for the front calipers that's all you need to remove um you don't need to do move any brake lines or anything like that just make sure you put the car you jack it up you put it in uh, jack mode and then in tow mode 
And then for the rears, you're also going to need an 18 millimeter uh, six yeah, point socket for the main calipers. And then for the parking brake, you're going to need a 16 millimeter socket. But uh, other than that, it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward. Um, said everything's done. Let's see. Yeah. We should probably clean up before. I... And this is the old hardware. Uh, these I... bad boys were warped. Um, these still had a lot of life left on them, but we decided to be safe and just put in new ones. Right, Steven? Yep. All right, well, thanks for watching. This has been, uh, I don't know, Steven will put it, put in a name right here. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. All right, one more thing. So for the screws holding in the calip, the, not the calipers, the rotors, you're going to need a Torx 45. And then the torque specs for the caliper caliper bolts are 90 foot-pounds. And then the torque specs for the screws, how much were, were those? The, 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 the Torx 45 screws, what was the torque oh, specs for those? 17 Newton meters. So 17 Newton meters for those. But the torque specs are the same all around for all four corners.